Hey guys, this is another one of my gear uh, reviews. Um, I got this bag from uh, countycom.com. Their website is uh, www.countycom.com. I frequently use them. I, they have a lot of uh, interesting products. Uh, very high quality for the price, uh, for sure. What you're looking at here is a Generation 5 bailout bag, sometimes just called a Bob for short. Um, bailout bags basically. Uh, you know, there's a lot of people who, um, who fill these up with a lot of emergency type stuff. Um, you know, flashlights and, you know, knife, uh, sometimes a gun, handgun, uh, water bottles, food, stuff like that. Um, other people use them just, like in my case, I use it just for like an EDC, which stands for everyday carry. It's just a bag that I can put a bunch of different tools that I use daily, um, you know, so I can always be prepared. You know, I can put nice, uh, there's actually two... On either side, I'll get into all the parts, but there's two um, Nalgene pouches on the side for drinks. Um, there are a lot of different options on what you can carry. Um, originally, these were $39.99, and at that price, I thought I thought it was a steal. I thought there was a great bag for that price. Um, but they're on sale for $29.99. Uh, the one you see in front of you is a uh, olive drab green. Uh, I happen to like the uh, OD green. Um, but they also come in coyote brown, which is kind of like a deep, deep tan tannish brown, uh, solid black, or desert sage. Um, so, just kind of go over all the features of this bag. Uh, I'll get right into the inside. Uh, it's got du dual zippers, either side. So, you can keep one all the way to the side and use one zipper to, uh, you know, close and open it. Or you can go to the middle and, you know, use the other zipper like that in the middle, however you prefer. Uh, the top very heavy duty. Uh, this whole thing, all the material is very good. Very good stitching. Very heavy duty material. Really can take a beating. Um, but the top here, the handles go together. It's got a nice solid uh, button snap here. I don't know if you want to keep those together, not worry about them uh, coming apart. There. Got to keep them flat. Line them up. And use that uh, that solid button snap. You know, so you can get a good good carry on this. Uh, it also comes with a shoulder strap which is right here, which you can take on and off. Very simple. You just have these, uh, these pretty heavy-duty clips here. They go on these D-rings. They're very simple to use. Put that on. You have a nice, you know, thick uh, shoulder strap. Um, what I actually like about this shoulder strap, which I see a lot of the uh, expensive uh, tactical-style bags have, is this really, really nice, comfortable um, pad, which is easily removable. There's three three Velcro uh, connection points. So it's, uh, you know, you can quickly take this on or off if you wanted to, but it's very, very comfortable. You know, it's kind of aerated here. Um, you know, slides back and forth. Of course, everything is adjustable for, uh, you know, how long you want the strap, depending on where you want the bag on your side. Um, but I think it's a very good strap for the bag. Uh, right now I have this strap off, because I don't, I just carry it like this. Most of the time I'll keep this bag in the car. I really I carry it from my house to the car, you know, back and forth. Um, so I don't really need the shoulder strap, but if I do have to use it, it's a fairly decent one. Um, so anyway, getting back to the inside, two zippers on top. Now, what I love about this bag is this nice soft material. I don't really know what they're use use here, but if you have uh, you know some more expensive type equipment, you don't want it scratched up. You know, of course, this is a multi-purpose bag. You can use this for anything. Um, even if you want to use this bag for, I don't know, an overnight bag at a, you know, a motel or something, or a hotel. Uh, you know, wouldn't make a difference. It's great for, you know, whatever you want to use it for. But it's a very nice soft material uh, lining on both sides. Okay, so it's not going to scratch if you want to put, uh, I don't know, like camera equipment or in here or something like that. You don't have to worry about it really scratching it. Um, very nice addition. Something I was surprised. I actually didn't know I had that. Um, but you have a middle divider here, okay, which is kind of stiff. Uh, to break this into two main pockets, but it's just uh, attached by Velcro on the inside. If you can see that, uh, so very easily removable if you just want one main pocket. Um, and now on the inside, you have you have these uh, holes. You have them on both sides, both sides. Okay. And what this is for? What this is for is the. Uh, the side here, you could put a nalg it's a Nalgene pouch. You could put your water bottle in here, whether it's just a store water bottle, 
or if you have you know a Nalgene bottle or in my case I have a Camelback bottle put it in this you know side compartment here and this goes right over the top okay this just helps secure it down and then of course this has velcro on the side and then once you secure it down from the inside you have the pull you can you know zip that down nice and tight so it's definitely not going to go anywhere you have that on both sides so you have two Nalgene pouches which is awesome because you know, if you want to carry a lot, you know, extra water for you and a second person, uh, it's great. You know, you and a wife, you know, you and your wife's water or girlfriend or maybe just your buddy's water. Um, or if you wanted to, you can carry, use one pocket for water, another pocket for like a, uh, a radio or something, you know, a CB, something. Um, anyway, both, both pockets, very functional, very usable. Um, the front side here that I, I have showing you, or is pointed towards the camera right now, uh, good Velcro on the front. Uh, you can add identification patches here. You can add, um, Countycom has a couple different uh, patches to choose from. Uh, EOD Robotics. Um, nice flag, you know, American flag, a couple different colors there. But it's good just have this on the front here. And a lot of uh, expensive tactical gear will have that. Um, you know, it's just a nice addition. Um, and in my other video, I mentioned that you can hide some uh, small stuff underneath your patch, like uh, pins, needles, stuff like that. Real small stuff you don't want to lose. Then you have another zipper pocket in the front here. And again, you can use it for whatever you want. You can be creative. Very easy to use. I like how that the zipper is recessed underneath this kind of flap here instead of just like exposed. Um, just It's just nice because if, if the zipper is kind of a little open, you only have to worry about stuff falling out. Um, underneath that, you have a very long uh, kind of uh, cylindrical pocket, which I would imagine is very, very convenient for flashlights. You know, if you have a longer type flashlight, um, this would be great for that. Easy access in the front. Again, just zipper, zipper pocket. On the left side, you have two smaller pockets. These are not enclosed. You know, they're just open on top. Uh, I would probably store um, pens or pencils in here. And on the other side, you have a wider pocket which is the full width. Um, this is advertised to hold like your uh, good tactical flashlights like um, uh, Surefire, Streamlight, um, maybe even uh, like a Phoenix, you know. Nice and convenient because it's on the exterior of the bag so if you need to get to it quickly it's right there. You don't have to be fiddling through a pocket. Especially with a flashlight you want to obviously, you know, you don't want to be fiddling around because you don't have the light to see where it is. Makes sense, right? <laughs> um, on the reverse side you have uh, a couple different uh, pockets here. You have two. These are identical on either side, these larger type pockets. Um, this would be good for, I guess, a range bag too. If you go shooting, you can keep extra mags in here, you know, and your handguns in the main pouch. Um, so these two here are the same. They're identical. Then you have a smaller pocket in the middle, just a little bit smaller than the side ones. Again, nice, thick, heavy duty Velcro. I believe this is all Velcro brand Velcro too. It's not like just imitation. Um, you do not have to worry about any of your stuff falling out. And this is an interesting pocket here. It's got a nice additional, uh, like a Velcro, or excuse me, not Velcro, like a nylon strap to help you assist in opening that. Uh, two very little small pockets. I can imagine if you have a little, a little pill box or something, this would be a good place to store that. Um, just interesting. You can, you know, like I said, you can be. Uh, you know, imaginative and use this any way that suits your needs. You see here, or hopefully you can see, this uh, bag is made by um, Maritech Extreme. as a company that produced this. Um, it's something that I haven't uh, heard of until uh, I've got this, this bag uh, and also one of their EOD bags. But I have to say, the, for the price, the quality is top-notch. I mean, there's obviously there's a lot of similar bags out there, but uh, I have to say this is definitely a great buy. Um, very heavy duty, you know. You could pick the, the color of your choice, and like I said, just really versatile. You know, you can buy whatever, whatever uh, you know color will suit your needs. And uh, I guess that's it. Um, this is my new carry bag. This is what I'm going to be using, you know, to carry my tools around uh, because I like it. So once again, thank you very much for your time. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.